This is BEDSED, the Beddington Zero Fossil Energy Development. It's an environmentally friendly, energy efficient mix of housing, workspace and community facilities near Croydon in Surrey. Currently, it's the UK's largest eco-village. Well, what we wanted to show was that you could develop green lifestyles that are actually more convenient, more desirable than carrying on with the uh, typical suburban status quo. So what we've done is we've tried to take a small piece of suburbia and develop a, almost like a model village where people can live and work and play and actually have a, a higher quality of life at the same time as dramatically reducing their environmental impact. To achieve this, BEDZ's designers have had to consider all aspects relating to sustainability, from reclaimed and renewable construction materials to minimum energy use. The homes have been designed as sunny caves. They're very, very thermally massive. They're, they're constructed out of dense, heavyweight concrete blocks, concrete floors, and they all face south. So we're getting about 30% of our annual space heating requirements just through passive solar gain. We're then able to store that passive solar gain from a, a very warm winter day to a colder winter day by having about between a week and a month's worth of thermal storage within, embodied in the structure. Good draft proofing also helps to reduce heat losses. Heat exchangers in the roof cowlings use heat from outgoing air to warm the fresh air going into the buildings, again reducing energy requirements. Overall, the thermal requirements of the houses in winter is only about a tenth of a traditional British home. A combined heat and power plant makes up the thermal energy deficit. Wood chip waste that would otherwise go to landfill is the basis of the fuel. The CHP plant also generates some of the electricity used on the site. The rest comes from photovoltaic panels. We've integrated solar electric panels into the window system and also into a roof light system. And then there's another set of photovoltaics placed actually on the roofs proper. Installing the most efficient energy appliances reduces electricity demand. And other environmentally benign measures include recycling facilities in each eco-kitchen. Food miles are minimised by an on-site local farmer's shop and the roof gardens can act as vegetable plots as well as thermal insulation. Most green initiatives are actually asking people to deny themselves something. You have to, be, you have to save energy, you have to change your lifestyle, you have to change your diet. What we wanted to show was actually um, we could achieve a higher quality of life at the same time as reducing, dramatically reducing an environmental impact. One of the important factors that we've tried to address here is this concept of solar urbanism, which is actually designing new uh, city blocks around the need to maximise um, renewable energy, but at the same time as providing a good streetscape and, and something that really can fit into a modern city. Many uh, town planners have been rejecting these ideas because they couldn't see how classical uh, urban design concepts um, could be reconciled with, with the need for, for, for taking on board renewable energy and, and sustainable uh, lifestyle concepts.